Hello, welcome to this video which has been prepared for the authors of Academiae Chiados journals. In the next few minutes, we aim to introduce all the functions available on our online HTML-based proofing system, Proof Central. Online correction aims to replace the more traditional PDF proofing and offers the authors incomparably more flexibility and more tools with which to implement corrections in their typeset paper themselves. We hope that this visual guide will make your proof correction not only quicker, but also smoother and thus making your publication experience with Academia Iquiado more pleasant. The procedure is triggered by an email from TNQ with a self-explanatory subject's line. This email contains the link to your article in Proof Central. On the start page, all identifiers of the journal and your article are listed on the left. The six main parts of the proof correction procedure are summarized here. In what follows, we will go through them systematically. At any stage, by hitting the Life Boy icon, you can reach the online help, where you can also read more detailed explanations of this video. Once you are ready to start, click Proceed to open your paper in a new tab. A quick introduction of the operator buttons is provided. This can now be skipped as their use will be explained in this video. It should be stressed that all that you see here in Proof Central is a platform for editing. It is not a faithful reproduction of how your published article will appear. For that, you can download the uncorrected PDF file by clicking here. Optionally, you can mark your corrections in the PDF file downloaded and upload an annotated version of the PDF file to this page. However, we encourage you to use the more powerful online platform introduced next. Please read and check the PDF file carefully. Once you find something to be corrected, jump to the appropriate point in Proof Central and just make the necessary correction. Almost every manuscript has some unclarified issues or smaller inconsistencies. Proof Central helps you by listing them in the author query. You need to answer all questions in it. The questions are listed in the author query item of the menu. Black dots label those questions that have not been answered yet. You can type your answer in the box below the question, re-edit or delete it. Do not forget to hit the update button after each reply, which will then make the black dot disappear. It is most crucial that all author information, names, affiliations and contact addresses appear correctly in your paper. You can check and edit them in Proof Central. Author information is highlighted by a coloured background. It can be edited by clicking on the pencil icon. All authors are listed on the right. Clicking the pencil icon next to a particular name opens a table in which you can add, edit or delete the relevant items. Your changes are saved by hitting the update button. Further authors can be added in a tab which is opened by choosing the author type. The newly added author can be marked as a corresponding author or not. Affiliations can be deleted or edited by clicking the appropriate icon. Your changes are saved again by the update button. New affiliations can be added in a dedicated tab. Affiliations can be linked and unlinked to any of the authors. Author footnotes are handled in the same way. They can be deleted or edited. New ones can be added and they can be linked or unlinked to one or more authors. Once you have finished editing the author information, click the button Done. 
your corrections will appear in the file. Should you change your mind, you can undo your changes with a single click. Any change in this field will be checked by the publishing editor. Funding information must be included accurately in your paper, both as an ethical requirement and for your reporting purposes. Proof Central offers an easy way of checking and editing that also. Choose Funding Information in the menu and hit the pencil icon to open the tab. Edit the text in the various boxes. Changes are saved by the Update button. Once you click it, your corrections appear in the file. Proof Central offers you a plethora of text edition tools that will be overviewed next. Using the list in the sections or in the Figures and Tables menu on the right, you can conveniently navigate to the appropriate part of the text. In order to delete some text, mark it and hit the backspace key on your keyboard. Should some text be replaced, mark the bit to be overwritten and start typing. Whenever some text should be inserted, place the cursor at the exact point and start typing. For the purpose of formatting some text, for example, for making it boldface, mark it and select the appropriate option in the occurring menu box. In each of the above cases, a box containing a curved arrow will appear above your correction. Hitting it will undo your edit. If a more complex change is needed, like this unwanted line break in our case, you can add a text bubble with your comment. Place your cursor at the place where the comment should be inserted and hit the dedicated button in the top menu bar. Special characters can be inserted in your text edit or in a comment by using ASCII or Unicode or choosing them from the table opened by the relevant button in the top menu bar. In case of a more structured comment, say about the typography of this grammatical example, you can even attach a separate file detailing your comment. A text bubble on the margin will indicate that a comment has been made. Mathematical formulae are treated via a dedicated math editor. Here, in the Pythagorean equation, the wrong exponent is easily corrected to square. Latex mode is also available. A new external link can be inserted placing your cursor at its planned location and hitting the dedicated button in the top menu bar. In the occurring window, you can type the appropriate URL and the displayed text. Existing links can be edited or removed by clicking the linked text. An existing bit of your text can also be transformed to a hyperlink by marking it and opening the same menu. In order to add a footnote, place your cursor to the point where the footnote should be added. The rightmost button of the top menu bar opens the window where you can type the footnote text. An existing footnote can be edited or deleted by clicking on it. This opens the editor page in the Citations, References and Footnotes menu item. Below each footnote on the list, there is a link to its occurrence in the text. The figures of your paper can also be checked and edited in Proof Central. Clicking on a figure opens its high resolution version and you can zoom in and out with the appropriate buttons. With the help of the Annotate Image icon, you can switch to the Annotation mode, where you can add, edit and remove stickers with your comments. Should a figure need to be replaced by another one, the new file can be attached using the Replace Image icon. The tables, 
usually containing numerical results of your research, require special attention. Their review and possible addition are made easy in Proof Central. The content of a table cell can be edited just as any other text, but there is more. Clicking the pencil icon, tables can also be formatted. Cell contents can be aligned, rows and columns can be added or deleted, cells can be merged or split. The original and the new tables are displayed simultaneously so that they can be compared easily. Please note that grammatical examples are also typeset as tables and thus can be corrected accordingly. References are said to be the most read but least checked part of a scientific paper. With Proof Central, you can easily take care of them. The section of references is highlighted by a coloured background. Clicking anywhere in this area will open the Citations, References and Footnotes section in the menu. There are pencil and dustbin icons next to each reference which can be used for editing and deleting them, respectively. Clicking the pencil icon will open the editing page. You will find each reference presented in one of two possible forms. Number 11 is presented in the tagged form, while this other one, number 10, appears as free text. Changes can be made in both versions. Edit the reference text and hit Process to check the outcome. Once you are satisfied, click Update. This makes your corrections appear in the file. With the plus insert reference button, you can add a new reference in any of the free text or the tagged formats. Below each reference are listed its citations within the text. These buttons enable you to jump directly to the in-text citation. A citation can be deleted by marking it and hitting the Delete Reference button. A new citation can be inserted by placing your cursor at the precise location, ticking the reference to be cited here, and then hitting the Cite Reference button. Clicking Show Uncited will list those references whose citation is missing in the text so that you can easily add it. Tables, equations and footnotes are treated in exactly the same way. Before finalising your corrected proof, you can revisit and double check your edits. Proof Central offers a handy tool for that. Choosing the Edit Log item in the menu allows you to see separate lists of all corrections and comments made. An initial refers to the author of that change. Various filters can be applied to select edits of a given type. Clicking any item in this list lets you jump to its occurrence in the text where you can subsequently check it and re-edit if necessary. The hard part of your work is now done. All that remains is to save, share and submit the corrected proof. Once you feel satisfied with your edits, you should save them by hitting the button in the top right corner. You may wish your co-author to check the proof. You can enable them to access it by clicking this button, adding their contact details and setting a deadline if you so wish. Please bear in mind that the file cannot be simultaneously edited by multiple authors. After they return the access to you, you can check their edits in the log menu. If your paper contains extra online only content, it can be corrected in the same way as the main article. Your supplementary material file can be downloaded for checking, amended with comments or replaced if necessary. When everything is finalized, it remains to submit the file by clicking the button in the top right corner. 
receipt of your corrected proof will be acknowledged in an email from TNQ. We advise you to download and save for your record the session report here. It is a PDF file showing your corrections. Please do not forget, all information in this video can be read in a structured form, in great detail in Proof Central's online help. The online help is activated by the Lifebuoy button. Use the content list to find the appropriate paragraph. The explanations from this video and much more is presented in detail. We hope that this quick tour through the functions of Proof Central was worth your valuable time. We wish you a pleasant experience working on your galley proofs. In case of any doubts, please feel free to contact your publishing editor at Academiae Chiado. Thank you very much for your kind attention.